The Ottawa Senators are extremely pleased to select from the Boston U Terriers, Brady Kachuk. Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Before I get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore for the two updates of the games and of course breaking news as well. Please check out our sponsor SeatGeek.com or download the app on the App Store and use our promo code Sense Talk save twenty dollars off your first purchase. The links are in the description below. Now today I was planning on doing my NHL Stanley Cup Final preview between the Blues and the Boston Bruins, but the Senators got in the way with that, announcing their fourteenth National Hockey League coach. So I'm first going to read some part of their press release, then I'm going to get to some tweets and my own analysis of this signing. So firstly, the Senators today announced DJ Smith would join the Senators as the new head coach. Smith has agreed to terms on a three-year agreement with the Ottawa Senators. No salary has been announced. Smith, who is 42, second youngest NHL coach in the NHL right now, becomes the 14th head coach of the Ottawa Senators in team history. He spent the last four seasons as an assistant coach on Mike Babcock's staff with the Toronto Maple Leafs, being in charge of the penalty kill there. He joined the Toronto Maple Leafs in 2015-16 season after leading the OHL's Oshawa Generals to the 2015 Memorial Cup Championship. In three seasons as a head coach in Oshawa, uh, DJ Smith compiled a record of 135-53-3-13 and, and earned the honor of the OHL's Coach of the Year after guiding the Generals to a 42-20-0-6 record in the 13-14 season. Oshawa finished with a 51-11-2-4 record during their ch- championship season in the 14-15 season. Before his time in Oshawa, Smith spent time uh, six years uh, in Oshawa, uh, not in Oshawa, in Windsor as assistant coach. During his tenure in Windsor, he uh, captured back-to-back titles in the Memorial Cup with, in 2009-2010. Uh, in a quote from uh, Pierre Dorian, DJ Smith is a winner. We believe he is the best person to drive the development and success of the Ottawa Sanders. DJ is a great communicator and an exceptional strategist. His passionate approach, coupled with his ability to teach the game, is exactly what we're looking for throughout the process. We are thrilled to welcome DJ and his family to Ottawa. So yes, uh, Ottawa, welcome to uh, DJ Smith. Uh, Welcome DJ Smith to Ottawa, uh, 14th head coach in National Hockey League history. At first, I was very upset over the signing. I was very much in the Nate Lehman group. He was a coach for Providence in the NCAA. I saw him as more of a you know Jim Montgomery uh, type of style coach who just led his team to the second round, who ultimately lost the Blues, are now in the finals. But looking more and more on this, I can see some positives. Firstly, this guy, um, DJ Smith, he seems like a really good um, players coach. Uh, you know, uh, I can't say enough. Morgan Riley, there's a quote about him saying that he could certainly see him as a head coach. Um, in his presser today, he said his goal is to develop uh, this these players and create a winning, not a winning, but a, a positive atmosphere in the locker room, which is important. So well during the presser, very important. There were some quotes being out, put not being put in the right context for DJ Smith saying that about something bad about uh, um, advanced analytics. DJ Smith on analytics, he was questioned today about it. He, in a quote, a uh, big question on analytics, he said, I'm going to use every tool that, that's going to help us win hockey games. It helps you to double check and triple check that you're doing the right things. I'll take an idea from anyone. I'm going to use those as well as the coaching staff as well. So basically what he's saying is he's going to use advanced statistics, which is important in today's National Hockey League. So that made me happy to hear. Now moving forward now, uh, Bob McKenzie tweeted out a couple of things. So Mark Crawford, likely he's out. He's not going to be signing with the Sanders as an assistant coach uh, as DJ Smith is expected to, to hire his own staff in Ottawa. Pierre Guru, the Sanders goaltending coach, will be staying though. Now let's get to some other tweets uh, The further dive into DJ Smith as the new head coach of the Ottawa Sanders. In the 17-18 season, an NHLPA poll, DJ Smith was voted number one for likely assistant coaches to become NHL coaches, head coaches, 8.3 he was voted, and second place was uh, Todd Reardon, the now head coach of the Washington Capitals. So there's one. Two from Matt Bostelar on Twitter. DJ Smith is a good hire, according to him. If he's not good, we get a good draft pick, and we can fire him in two years. If he's innovative and good, that's also good. So low risk, high reward, I could agree with that, because really, next year is all about development. This guy clearly has development uh, pedigree, uh, you know, coaching good teams in the OHL, and has an eye on you know, creating a positive atmosphere and teaching players how to do things right. That's good. He's also clearly a player's coach, so that's good for young players that we have in Ottawa during, as we all know, this rebuild. So that's good. As well, if he's not good, we get good draft picks anyway. So it's a win-win anyway. And uh, it, at the worst, he could be a stopgap coach. 
Uh, as well, Pierre Dorian, not Pierre Dorian, sorry. Former uh, Windsor Spitfire GM Warren Reichel uh, added this on DJ Smith. He, he has great communication skills to people, and what he expects of them is outstanding. He's great. It's a good time to move. He's learned a lot, I'm sure. He's really good at seeing what the other team does and makes adjustments. So that's a positive because we all know Guy Boucher did not make those adjustments. Um, and it looks like, um, you know, DJ Smith has all control over uh, his assistant or associate coaches. And I'd love to see Chris Kelly, as I tweeted uh, under Bob McKenzie, be a part of that staff. Chris Kelly really, uh, he, he seemed to fit in with uh uh, the Sanders coaching staff after Boucher was fired and he was promoted. I love to see him in some type of capacity there because, uh, you know, he has experience with some of those coaches and he's just retired. So he really knows how to talk with those players. These players are young. We need to develop them and teach them how to play hockey. The Ottawa Sanders brand of hockey. Uh, DJ Smith clearly is, well, apparently is able to do that. And Chris Kelly would not hurt to have him in the fold as well. So, you know, this I think this signing can be good. Uh, at worst case, it won't be good. We'll get good draft picks. So really, I think it's. I think it's. At first, I was like, "This is not a good signing." I was really upset. I was on the Nate Lehman, um, you know, train. But gee, looking more and more into it, this signing is not the end of the world. It's much better than Patrick Waugh or or Rick Bonus or something like that. So, it's it's a low risk, high reward type of a thing, you know. Um, as well, Le- Pierre LeBron added on to this. My understanding is that Pierre Dorian was not given any limitation during his coaching process for Melnick. Whoever Pierre Dorian thought should be the guy. And what the, that guy needed to make, example, money, was going to be okay with Eugene Melnick. That probably is an example. Well, that's probably the case considering the Sanders uh, cut like $50 million on payroll. Uh, Dorian asked if this budget was a hire. Uh, Smith was his first choice. No impact No impact at all uh, money-wise. Uh, he's the best coach for this job. He's getting paid very well for this job according to Pierre Dorian. So money is not an issue according to Dorian and I guess Pierre Lebrun uh, via report. Um, but besides that, you know, I think it's a nice little signing here. Um, I think, you know, as long, I think what's important here is we need to develop these players and we need to teach them the mistakes and to teach, teach them from those mistakes into positives to further develop themselves into great hockey players. So I think in this rebuild, this is the right kind of coach to hire. Worst case scenario, he's not good. We get high draft picks. So at the end of the day, welcome to Ottawa, DJ Smith, and I'm excited to see what you can do. Expect in the next couple of days um, uh, for the Stanley Cup Final preview video. I expect that either, I guess, tomorrow or Saturday. Not Sunday. I'll get it done before then. So stay tuned for that. Besides that, um, Team Canada won today. Scored with 0.4 seconds left and then won in overtime. Mark Stone with two goals. So there's that. And uh, their game is on Saturday. So I'll see you Saturday for the NHL. Or Friday or Saturday for the Stanley Cup Final Preview. Besides that, thank you for watching. Appreciate the support. So please follow us on Twitter at SenseTalk and underscore. For the updates of the games and, of course, breaking news, please like us on Facebook at SenseTalk. Add us to the circles on Google Plus SenseTalk. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like this video. Share the video where sure cool stuff. Please, please, please check our website, sensetalkcenter.com. We update that every single day. And of course, please check our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download that from the App Store and use the promo code SENSETALK. Save $20 off your first purchase. Besides that, welcome to Ottawa G.J. Smith, the 14th head coach of the Ottawa Sanders. Let's get this started. Now let's get on to the president of Hockey Operations Search. Go, Sens, go.